Well, if you drove like that on the public roads, you deserve to be called a maniac. But they do drive like that on the public roads. Every Saturday night, the intestinal road at Mount Shuba comes alive to the sound of tortured rubber. Kids, hundreds of them, take their cars up there to practice the art of drifting, seeing how long they can hold the car in an oversteer slide. This is irresponsible. They are joyriders, but at least they're doing something a little more enterprising than reversing into a branch of Dixon's. Naturally, though, as the road is open and there are people coming the other way, accidents do happen. Rather a lot. Now, just in case you were thinking of trying this at home, this is a graphic demonstration of what can go wrong. How did you manage to do this? I came around the corner too quickly. It was excessive speed, and I skidded and ended up on the bank. Well, it's a rotten bit of luck. And it was a 21st birthday present from his mother. Drifting has now become so popular that the sport has legitimised itself with organised events at racetracks. Speed is unimportant, but style is everything. And you're judged in much the same way as Torville and Dean by the man who started it all, the Drifto Kingu. When I was racing, everybody knew that I would win. So to stop people being bored and fed up with the same old thing, I started drifting the car through the corners, much more than the other drivers, to keep people interested, and it improved the popularity of the sport. He still does spectacular demonstration runs today, though he handicaps himself by wearing a pair of marigolds and driving a standard road car. And standard road cars, as you can see, are no good. Many years ago, the racers were only interested in hard springs. In the last two to three years, the drivers have become more interested in the suspension setups for these events, which are very, very popular in Japan these days. If you look at the top racers, they now have racing car standard suspension. So how mad do you have to be to do this? What sort of people are we talking about here? Mostly young guys who love cars and driving. They want to be racing drivers, but they don't have the money. So, have you decided on a winner today? Hi. Well, while he went off to polish the laurels, the guys went out for some sideways shenanigans. This time they were all forced to wear marigolds, but like good racing drivers, they blamed their cars. They should have been using one of these. Though at £50,000, the Nissan Skyline GTR is too expensive for the drifters. It's within easy reach, though, of the boys in the Midnight Club. To join, your car must be capable of at least 160 miles an hour, and what the members do is meet up at a service station late at night and race down the Tokyo to Yokohama Expressway. The Porsche 911, some of which can and do do 200 miles an hour, has been the boss for years. But today, most people use the Skyline. So what is this car, then? Well, the 2.6-litre, six-cylinder engine has two ceramic turbochargers, which can be tuned to give as much power as your internal organs can handle. I hear 850 horsepower is as high as you can go. But the strange thing is, the chassis could take more. The chassis could take a lot more. Thanks to the fitment of several computers, each of which makes a Cray look like a golf ball typewriter, the Skyline's four-wheel drive system takes the laws of physics and wipes its shoes on them. Its staggering ability to get round corners has made it Japan's best ever race car. And even on the road, you'd have to say, it's nothing short of physically ironic. The Skyline GTR makes the Porsche 959 look like it came out of the design studios of Freddie Flintstone. And on a racetrack, the Skyline would be faster than a Ferrari 355. 
in a battle between Japanese techno wizardry and Italian design flair, Japan would win. The Skyline, and I'm not joking, is one of the best cars I have ever driven.